you must have heard about Reshma Saujani, you know, the founder of Girls Who Code. And and she, uh, in her book, uh, talks about a particular incident where there is a public classroom and uh, there are girls and boys, fifth graders, I think, who are uh, learning to code. Right? And uh, she, she makes an interesting observation that the boys are asking a lot more questions than the girls are. And when the boys are asking questions... Uh, and the teacher approaches them, boys usually show, okay, this is how, this is what I tried. This is where I'm stuck. Can you help me? And then many times she found that the girls are, have a blank screen and they just say, I don't know. Can you please help me? And uh, the teacher got curious that how come such smart girls don't have anything to show for their work? But interestingly, she does uh, control Z to undo to see what happened in the screen before she got there. And she found that there was a lot of work that had been attempted and tried, but just not demonstrated. I think that speaks fundamentally to how women think many times, right? This is not to stereotype. Women go after perfection. And when there is a a challenge in terms of the solution being not right or the answer not being fully baked, chances are that women won't be the first ones in the room to raise their hand and start to talk about it, right? We need to be absolutely sure before we have that conversation. So what I think, uh, what's exciting is AI gives you those guardrails, right? So accessible, Gen AI, ChatGPT, Cloud, all these things make knowledge so accessible that it is very easy to take control of the situation. And and if, if expertise is what you desire before you will speak up, you can very quickly build that expertise. Uh, so you can use the tool to your advantage and uh, be more comfortable coming forward and taking chances because you know that there is an expert tool at your beck and call. I myself have taken advantage of that several times. When there was recently a research problem to be solved, I was able to very quickly bring up Claude and do some quick groundwork, put forth a solution that R&D could then take forward and work through. Right. So I think AI, Gen AI and the tools attached today have made knowledge really accessible and allow for experimentation and gaining knowledge that I hope it'll give us all the confidence to do more, right? to, to raise our hands more compared to what we did before.